We are going to perform a preempt protocol Botox injection for chronic migraine. In order to prepare the solution, a 200 unit vial of Botox is diluted with 4 cc's of preservative free saline. This gives a solution of 5 units per 1 tenth of an ml. We have made the dilutions, and in order to deliver the 31 doses, uh, we have three 1 cc syringes. One of them is slightly overfilled, as you can see by the plunger, um, with 11.1 ml doses. We're going to start with that syringe that has the 11 doses. The sites in the forehead, we're going to start here with the procerus muscle, one tenth of a cc. Then we're going to inject the corrugator, but I'm going to place my finger against the supraorbital rim to prevent inadvertently injecting below the orbital rim into the levator muscle. Now the corrugator on the patient's right side. Now we're going to move to the frontalis muscles. We're going to inject the frontalis muscle on each side at the lateral canthal and the mid-pupillary line. 0.1 cc, that is five units of Botox A in each. This gentleman has had previous Botox injections and has had an excellent response. His Botox lasts about nine weeks and then he has a return of daily headaches. Slight pressure to stop focal bleeding. Four doses remain. We're going to turn our attention to the temporalis muscle. The temporal fossa is injected in three sites across its breadth and one over the zygomatic root. It's important to make sure that the Botox is delivered under the temporalis fascia. So inject down and touch the periosteum lightly and then lift the needle to be certain the dose is delivered into the muscle. And this is into the root of the temporalis muscle. That's four sites in the temporalis muscle. We will now inject the opposite temporal temporal fossa in the same way, dividing the fossa into three, one-tenth of a cc injected into each of four sites, three across, and one in the root. You can lean forward now. The splenius capitis muscle is now injected. It's easy to find the occipital tubercle to slide the finger into the midline raffe and to pinch the splenius capitis. We inject one, two, three, four, five, six doses there. 
the 5 8 inch needle ensures that we will not penetrate deeply enough to cause any injury to the spine or its vasculature. The occipitalis muscles are also injected. To inject the occipitalis muscle, we make a claw of three fingers and place it behind the mastoid tip. Then we drag it up and over the nuchal ridge. Once we find the nuchal ridge, we are in the area of the occipitalis muscle. We'll deposit one dose at the tip of each of the three fingers for a total of 15 units. EMG localization is not necessary. The final doses are in the trapezius muscles. We pinch the trapezius. And the second, more proximal. These rarely bleed, even though they are the closest to the clothing. The preempt injection is complete.